What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another day in Car Mechanic Simulator with me, the Virtual Mechanic, and today's project, this Dodge Grand Caravan, the Demon Edition, looking incredible. Just under 78,000 kilometers on this one. We got it from a barn. Shock horror. I know some of you are a bit thrown out by that. Not too bad on all of the conditions of everything. The parts is a bit low, the frame's a bit low, but everything else is up around the 80 mark, so that's a good sign. Did we get a good deal? Not quite or anywhere near for that matter. I bought it for 28,180 and could only sell it for 23,051, losing out on 5,129. Hopefully we can claw that back and some by the end of this build today. This does have the V8 double overhead cam, supercharged engine with 808 factory horsepower. We're obviously going to pick performance parts on this. Where is the horsepower going to end up on this one today? Should be quite incredible. Definitely going to have to pit slicks on this one. There is that beast sat in there. It does drop in quite a way, so it's not too bad at all. Not too in your face. It is looking a bit sorry for itself, though. There's a few bits missing, a couple of fuel rails, or one fuel rail, sorry, and a throttle. But apart from that, that's not looking too bad. An exhaust piece there. And obviously an oil filter, but not too bad at all. So let's get this one started up. Let's get this over to the car wash. And let's get this beautiful Dodge Demon all cleaned up. Here we are then at the car wash with the Dodge Grand Caravan in its lovely green with the blue tailgate. But let's get it cleaned and see what we've got going on underneath this. We know we've got the Hell Karen livery on this one looking pretty awesome. To be honest, that bodywork isn't too bad apart from that blue trunk. And there it is, Hell Karen. You can see it down the side there, SRT Hell Karen. There we go, a little bit of a... I don't know what to say about that, but it is what it is. Let's get the interior done. Let's get it back on the lift, and let's get that supercharged V8 ripped out of there. First things first, we need to get under the big green machine and see if there is an oil pan. There is not, so we don't have to worry about draining that. Let's crack on and get underneath. I've just noticed that it's almost the whole side of one exhaust that's missing. In fact... The whole of one exhaust is missing. It's just split across over the two, two sides. Never mind. Not what we're here for right now. In fact, I am going to just strip all of this out so that it's not in my way. And I know that I need to buy two of all of that. But anyway, never mind. Drive shaft out you come. Let's get you out. A couple of rusty bolts on the front end. But this is was a barn find. So I'm not expecting it to be brilliant in any way, shape or form. But it does all look pretty complete, which is always a good sign. In we go. Grabbing that starter. Another rusty bolt on there, out you come. And then finally, that beautiful gearbox with some more rusty bolts. Obviously, there's going to be rusty bits all over this machine. There we go. Nice and easy. That's you out. They come out with the engine. I think that's it. So let's get it back on the ground and try and get that beautiful supercharged V8 ripped out of there. Over we go. Open up that snouting hood. And let's see what we've got. There we go. That came out nice and easy. That is always what I like. Let's see what else we've got going on on this engine bay. Straight away, the fuse box is missing a lid. But it's... Oh, it is missing one fuse. There we go. Just the one fuse there. Probably should have added that to my shopping list. I don't know why I changed that screen. We're also missing the battery and ECU, the ABS module, but not the pump, the brake servo, power steering reservoir, coolant reservoir, the wishy-washy reservoir, and the radiator fan housing kit. Quite a lot missing there. We do have the air filter. And we do have all of the clips on that one. Let's just get these out. Doesn't look like we're going to have any liquids. To oh, we are missing one clip. Just the one clip from that one. So there we go. I need to remember to buy that as well. Out we go. Out we go with that. Uh, let's just get you out while we're here. And that just leaves the fuse box. Oh, and the radiator. But I'll come back for the fuse box in a moment. If we jump down the back here. Is there an oil pump? No, fuel pump. Sorry, no fuel pump on the fuel filter. Fuel filter? Wow, wrong choice of words. Can I get back up the front? There we go. I can get back up the front. Let's get this wheel off and check out the suspension we got going on with the Dodge Grand Caravan today. Off with your rusty wheels. Come on out you come. There we go. So that looks like a single wishbone. It is indeed. Uh, then we've got the big shock at the top there. We do have the sway bar end link in, the inner and outer tie rod in, and the hubcap and bearing both in there, along with both the bushings. That's a good sign. Over to the other side, inner and outer tie rod, hubcap bearing, sway bar end link, and the shock, both of the bushings. So the front suspension is all complete. Let's get one of these run. Let's get one of these rear wheels off and see what we've got going on that down the back. That looks like disc brakes. It is indeed. So let's see what we've got. 
we've got the spring and all of the assortment there we've got both the rubber bushings sway bar end link is there another rubber bushing in there one two one two three four arms so the arms are all there and then obviously we've got the drive axle so that side's looking complete let's move over the other side uh, all the spring there rubber bushings one two three and four arms and the drive axle and the sway bar end link that is all there as well fantastic so i'm going to jump on i'm going to get the fuse box all stripped off get all the suspension stripped out and stripped down of that beautiful engine i will see you back in a moment when they're going to get all the bodywork stripped off of this one before we head over to the paint shop that's everything replaced repaired or upgraded ready to go back on our beautiful demon caravan but we need to sort this a body out. Now, although it looks pretty good, I'm sure not every part is up to 100% uh, body 82. So we do need to get all of this stripped off. So let's just start tearing it down and see where we end up. Out with that bumper. Is that grill a separate part? Yeah, that is a front end. Ideal fender. Over the other side, fender. That should be it for the front end. I think so. Out with the windshield. Off with the door. Any trim up here doesn't look like it. Out with the rear door there. That takes the fender as well. Nice. What have we got there? Nothing, nothing, nothing. Window, rear bumper, lights, door or trunk, rear lights. Let's move back around. There's the rear fender that gets the door as well. Out with the window, out with the other door. And that should be everything. I'm not 100% on that, but it should be everything. Let's just get the interior out and then double check. Out with these seats. They are definitely being swapped out. I do not like them at all. That's all the interior. Let's have a double check. See if we did get everything. 1%, 1%. Did we get everything? We did get everything. That's brilliant. Let's go over and grab the welder and get this one all sorted out. Ready to go back. Now, I paid... What did I pay? Just under 30000 for this one. The frame wasn't too bad. I'm going to say... 1200 500 Way off. But never mind. That's that. Let's check out the shop for this Dodge Grand Caravan. Lots of different front bumper options. Lots of different grill options. That's cool. I'm going to have a lot of fun playing around with this. One door, windows, fenders. A few different choices there. Mm, probably one of them for... I'm not 100% sure on that. Different hoods. A couple of different options for them. That one looks pretty cool. Maybe we'll see, but it doesn't go with the Demon. That one goes with the Demon. Rear bumper. What else have we got? A few trunks. Different trunk options. We're definitely going with them wider fenders at the back there. And that's pretty much all of it. A couple of window options. We don't need tinted anymore, obviously, because that's a thing we can do separately. That's looking pretty sweet. I'm going to go on and get some stuff prepared, swapped out, see what I like, see what I don't like. I'll be back with you in a few moments when we'll get this one all back together. It's time to give this demon back its looks. So let's get this bodywork all back together before we head over to the paint shop. Now, I did keep everything pretty much as it was with the little demon head there. As you can see, all of this going back on. Most of it has the little demon head. I did swap a couple of bits. I did keep the front bumper. There are two different front bumper options with the little head on them. One of them has got slightly wider splitter there that goes around the arches and just clips on the edge. The other one's got the inside splitter that gets hidden, just in case you were wondering. Anyway, moving on. Headlights back in you go. I swapped this front end to a completely debadged paintable one. Look at that. That looks pretty sweet. On we go. Windshield in with the door and then we'll just get this door finished door and a mirror there all replaced rear door now this one does have the fender so you do have to go with this one if you want that kind of wide body effect there looking pretty sweet let's get all of this back in tail lights rear bumper let's go around the other side get the tail lights in this a trunk lid i swapped it for the d1 the d1 has got a bit of a spoiler on it so i just kind of wanted that bit of spoiler up there i think it sort of Finishes the demon look off a little bit. Is sports van, minivan thing, whatever you want to call it. On back on with that door. Back on with the main door. And let's get this one all finished up. I'm excited to go to the paint shop to see what we've got for these today. That should be all of the bodywork. Let's get the interior in very quickly. Over we go. I have swapped it to my Nismo seats. I just had to check they did fit, which they do. And I've just swapped it to steering wheel 16. Just because it's sort of, to me, that looks a bit dodge. That is what it is. It just looks a bit dodgy. That's why I went for that one. That's looking good. License plates. Just gone for my VM plates with a demon written on them. There we go. I don't think anyone sort of expected anything different there. Looking pretty sweet. That should be everything. Let's double check. 100%, 100%, 100%. Fantastic. All of that done. Let's get this one over to the paint shop and see what we can do with it today. Here we are then in the paint shop with our Dodge Grand Caravan Demon. In its 
factory color green. I quite like it, but I don't think we're going to stick with it. Let's just check out the liveries that come with this today anyway. Slot number one is the black SRT Hell Karen. There we go. Just that lovely image on the back there of the uh, whatever that's meant to be. But anyway, moving on. Well done, French toast. Slot number two is a livery I shouldn't have, but I do. This is the most wanted livery for it. We won't be putting that one on it today. Slot number three is the pink Hell Karen. Nicely done. Slot number four is black racing stripes all the way down. Slot number five is white racing stripes all the way down. Nice and easy. There are slot six. Slot six is a taxi. I definitely won't be going for a New York City taxi today. Slot number seven is a white SRT hell, Karen. Not all we're going with today. Ours is definitely a demon. And that is all of them. So for me, it's probably going to be... Not that. It's either going to be the black or the white racing stripes. But what colour am I going to do with it? I'm going to go and have a play around. And I'll see you back here in a minute. When hopefully I've come up with a plan of what we're going to do with this beautiful Grand Caravan Demon. Well, this is our demon today looking a pretty insane. I've gone for a matte orange with the white racing stripes down it. I think it looks pretty sweet. And it's given me sort of like an idea. You've got a bit of black in here anyway, a lot of black around the grill with that black front end and stuff like that. So we can have a few splashes of black on that engine with maybe some orange heads with the white coil covers. And maybe if we can get that to work, that'd look pretty sweet with a lot of the rest of it blacked out just to fit in with this orange there. Maybe a couple more splashes of that white. We shall see. Hopefully that will look pretty good. With regards to the suspension, Probably just going to be orange and white with a splash of black, something like that. Orange springs, black shocks, maybe some white connections. Actually, the white, oh, the white cross member and um, support arms would look pretty good there. White arms, white cross member. That would look pretty sweet. Maybe that's what we'll go for. And uh, something to do with the back there that's around the same sort of style. Orange springs, black suspension, black shock. Maybe main cross member in the white there with that little arm in white and the rest of them orange. I don't know. I've got to go and paint all of them. We will figure that out in a minute. But this, for the time being, is the beautiful body we're going with. This lovely matte orange with the white racing stripes on our Dodge Grand Caravan Demon. Speaking of demon, there's the little demon head just to prove it. That's everything painted, ready to go back on the demon. Let's get these shocks back together. We've got black shocks, orange springs, exactly as I said they would be. And they are looking pretty awesome. Quite pleased with them. Let's get all of this back onto the Demon and see what it looks like all together. Now, the front section cross member is in white. I did say it was going to be white. It looks pretty good. Obviously, you've got the orange engine bay in there dropping down onto that lovely white frame. Looking pretty sweet. Lower suspension arms also in that solid white. Looking awesome. We had to keep a bit of white under here. Otherwise, it was going to be too much. The shock you've already seen in its black and orange looking pretty sweet. Then we move around. What, sway bar end link. Don't forget the sway bar end link. There we go. Let's get you on quickly. There we go. Uh, then we've got the hubcap. I've done that one just in the black for good measure. And then the brake caliper is in an orange, but I'm not really sure about it. Let's see. It is in a matte orange. Actually, that's not too far off of the shock there. How far is it off the body? It's not too. It's quite shaded in there. So we'll we'll check it when we're down the back. But that's half of the front end done. Let's get. Never mind. Let's come out of there. Let's go down the back and do it this way. Up we go. The rear suspension cross member in that white as well. Looking pretty sweet. Let's just get these bushings in you go. And where are you? There you are. In you go. Nicely done. And then we've got a sway bar on there along with the sway bar end link. There it is. On you go. Pretty good. Can we get that drive axle in? We can. On you go as well. Nicely done. Then I've got the lower suspension arm here in an orange. Looking pretty cool. On you go, on you go. The upper suspension arm is in a black because why not? We wanted to splash a few colours down here anyway. And then the rear suspension arm also in that orange because we've got the black spring cap going on there along with an orange spring as well just to separate it all up. Looking pretty good. Swing back around to the front. The shock absorber is in black to match the front shock. And then this other suspension arm is in a white just for a splash more of colour down here. That's looking pretty sweet. In with that rubber bushing. And then let's check out the orange of this brake caliper. See how it looks in a bit more light. That's looking a lot better. Pleased with that. That's looking pretty good. That's not far off of those colours there. Very, very good. Let's just take a step away. And you can see at the back, still not quite a perfect match because of the material of the brake calipers. But it's not far off at all. Pleased with that. 
I'm going to crack on and get the rest of this suspension all finished off. Let's get this fuel tank in along with the fuel pump. There we go. Then we'll check out the beautiful engine bay all up here. I've got, I think I've got all of that. We'll find out in just a moment. But I'll get all this finished. We'll get that sorted. Then we're going to go build that beautiful supercharged V8. Ready to go back in the beautiful demon. The suspension worked out in mostly white as it turned out with a few splashes of black and a little bit of orange just for good measure. Opposite to the body which is mostly orange with a splash of white and a little bit of black for good measure. But let's sort out the engine bay. Up we go. Let's just get this radiator in first along with its fan housing kit. In you go. Nice and easy. Coolant reservoir, power steering reservoir and a brand new battery to go in there. The wishy-washy reservoir in you go. What else have we got around here that's coloured? We'll come back in a second. Brake servo, ABS pump and a module on you go. Nice and easy. All six bolts done up. Easy peasy. What else have we got? So just the fuse box and the air filter in there. So the fuse box is in white because, well, I like to make it difficult to myself so I can't see things. Just throw one of them in there. It is really hard to see. You do have the outline, but you can't see any of the shading. Onto the air filter base. We've done that one in white as well. We'll just get this one all finished up. There we go. On with the cover. And then we've got some lovely contrasting orange clips on there, which look pretty sweet. So let's go around and get all four of them in. Where is it? There it is. And the last one just here. Awesome. That is the engine bay pretty much finished. Let's take a step away. You can see very orange in there. The white subframe down at the bottom. Then a white intake and the white fuse box when it's all finished up and closed will look awesome. I'll get that finished. Then we're going to go build that stupidly insane V8 ready to put back in a minivan. There we go. As you can see, we've already started off on this beautiful engine. We got the engine block in a matte black and the oil pan in that matte orange. Looking pretty cool. But let's start throwing some more bits back on this power steering pump. Can't be painted. Bit of a shame, but we'll just get it back in anyway. Along with the alternator, they do sort of a match-ish and do sort of go with the engine heads, which only paint on the inside in that lovely orange. So we've got a lot of chrome going on on the outside there. That engine head is looking pretty sweet. In with the camshafts. On you go. And then we need spark plugs in. Also, all of these cam gears on as well. Along with the exhaust manifold. So I'm going to get this all finished off and the other side all matched up to the same place. And I'll meet you back here in just a second. There we go. That's all taken care of. Let's get these belts in. On you go. And on you... Oh, missed. On you go. Nicely done. And then a big timing cover. Nice. That is in a black because... I didn't want to put too much orange in here as engine bay is already pretty orange. We have got some orange going in, so don't worry. But let's get all these rollers done and in so that you don't have to see all of this. Can't get any belts on yet. We need to go up a bit higher first. So let's get these engine heads on. Now, I have done these in an orange. As I said, I would. That matte orange. Looking fantastic on them. On you go. Get all of this bolted up. In you go, in you go, in you go, and in you go. We will throw on the fuel filter while we're here, just so we don't forget it, and get these ignition coils all on. In you go, in you go, in you go, and then hopefully the coil cover in a lovely solid white. That really finishes that off, I think, with the orange and white. Hopefully it's going to look awesome in the car. I don't know what's currently trying to shine through it there, but... Oh, is it telling me I can't take it out? Yes, okay, that's fine. That's not too much of an issue. Supercharger intake manifold that is also in a white looking a pretty sweet. Then we've got the supercharger on top on you go. And then hopefully we should be able to get all of the belts finished off and ready to go in. So let's jump back down here. Big old belt there. Big old belt there on you go. And then we should have a little roller and then just that belt tensioner, which I have done in the white. There we go. Just for a splash more in there. That's looking pretty cool. I'm going to get this engine head on and I'll see you in a second. There we go. That's all caught up to matching the other side. Oil filter in. I've done that one in an orange. We'll see how it turns out. Oh, that doesn't look too bad. Very nicely matched to the oil pan there. Looking pretty sweet. The throttle in you go. Now, this shows up in the paint shop, but cannot be painted. It doesn't take any colors at all. Bit bizarre. Don't know what's going on with that one. Fuel rail. I have done this one in the orange because I did that in white, but I might... No, I'm keeping that. That looks pretty good. And let's just get the other fuel rail in. And that is this engine. All finished off. One of my favorite engines, the V8 Supercharged. Very powerful, and it looks pretty good when you paint it. Quite pleased with that. I'm going to grab some pictures, then we'll get it dropped in to the minivan demon. Time for the moment of truth. When we drop this in, is it going to look any good? Let's take it off. Let's go and find out. Over we go to our lovely little minivan. 
in you go with the engine and let's get this crane put away and see how it looks a bit low down that's looking pretty awesome i thought it might be a bit too orange but you've got plenty of white in here and a lot of splashes of black around the outside to take away from it so it actually looks pretty good very very pleased with that let's get it up in the air get the gearbox drive shaft and start it in there as well this car is looking absolutely sweet i'm very pleased with it under we go in we go let's start off with the front exhaust sections just get you in while we're here there we go then the gearbox that big chunky gearbox in that matte black to match with the engine block looking pretty cool round to the starter we've done that one in an orange just for good measure there and let's get this drive shaft in i've realized i forgot something i've just spotted it right there we'll get this drive shaft in i'll quickly show you what we forgot and then we'll get all the liquids topped up the wheels done this one outside in the sun just one thing i can't believe i missed it let's get you down did anyone else spot it just then because i did over we go just down there little ecu hiding away i already had it but i forgot to place it there we go so yes get the wheels done the liquids topped up get this one outside in the sun here we are then all finished with the pains a dodge a grand caravan a demon edition looking pretty sweet in that matte orange with the white stripes and those two-tone rims that we will talk about in just a minute this looks fantastic i love oh, i love how that engine looks in there pretty sweet loving that also it just it looks absolutely fantastic the suspension in there in the white mostly with a few splashes of orange and a little bit of black looking pretty good this car's too long i can't get down the back looking pretty awesome obviously all the exhaust in there as well looking pretty sweet let's talk about these rims though these are the rims 1a i'm back to using my favorite rims just on there as you can see already but anyway two-tone i just love the deep dish two-tone look of these gone for a white into the black the black you can't change but still fits very well with this build with all the black pieces you've got going on there these front rims here they are a 21 inch change ever so slightly from a 20 they're 295 width and a 35 profile the front wheels need et of 30 to reach out to these fenders maybe a little bit more maybe 35 maybe i like it like that i think it fits pretty well but that's the size of the fronts down to the rears these are a bit wider same size 21 inch rim but these are 305 width instead of 295 with a 35 profile again but these need 45 et to bring them out to the fenders they might stick out a little bit further than the fenders at the back but then you would have that with a demon anyway maybe not quite actually with that little lip there it's pretty spot on loving that i think it looks pretty awesome but let's jump in and check out the interior and see what this one sounds like look at that very modernized interior with the full car set up sat there on the dashboard the manual gearbox ish the automatic gearbox lever just up there to sort of right next to the pretty sweet placement I'd find it a bit awkward myself because I'd want to have my hand down by my side. But never mind. Let's see what this one sounds like when we start her up. We've all heard the supercharged V8 before. We know exactly what it sounds like. But let's give it some gas. I do love the sound of a good supercharged V8. Sounding pretty sweet. But let's get this one over to the dyno and see what power it's got today. Here we are then on the dyno with the Dodge Grand Caravan a Demon and its 808 factory horsepower engine. We put loads of performance parts on that beast of a supercharger. What are we going to end up with today? A gain of 749 horsepower. That's 93%, almost a whole new engine, but not quite. Bringing our total measured horsepower up to 1,557 in a minivan dodge you guys are lunatics and i love it let's check out the gearbox tuning setup for today over we go there she is a 3.58 ratio is what i've gone for 70 kilometers an hour in at first gear up to 469 not that i think we'll get there although it's got an insane engine and a lot of power it is still a minivan my big question is can we beat the aston martins four seven what a three seven four sorry i believe it was from the last aston martin can we do faster than that with the minivan let's head over to the track let's find out here we are then on the speed track with the dodge grand caravan looking absolutely stunning this is the demon edition so it should be quite powerful can we beat the aston martin let's jump in and let's go window tint is still a little dark it really doesn't like first gear or second gear but then it does all right after that still pretty quick though there's 200 kilometers an hour already heading up towards 300 
what are we going to finish up with? I'm aiming for four, three, seven, four. That's what I'd like to smash. That was the top speed Aston Martin, the Vantage. Are we going to beat it today? Come on, little caravan, you can do it. There's 350. Come on, 360. 370. 370. Sadly, we can't quite beat the Aston Martin Vantage, but 370 is still a very impressive top speed from a minivan. So 370 kilometers an hour didn't quite beat the Aston Martin Vantage at 375 kilometers an hour, but it was very, very close from a minivan. The uh, Aston Martin finished 73rd and this lovely Dodge Grand Caravan finished 77th in the speederboard. So not bad at all, really. These doors here, they don't open because they are connected to that fender. Bit of a shame, but it is what it is. I think this looks absolutely fantastic. I am very, very pleased with how this has turned out. Do let me know what you guys think in the comments below. We'll just check out that interior one last time. Looking awesome. But yeah, do let me know what you guys think of this one. I love that engine. I think it's pretty sweet. Not too orange or in your face. Enough splashes of other colors just to make it sort of stand out a little bit. Still looking pretty awesome. Absolutely love it. The real question is, though, can we make a profit from this insane Dodge Grand Caravan Demon Edition? Well done, Dodge. You always know how to build something absolutely ludicrous. But there we go. Beautiful work by Payne. Link in the description below. Also, shout out to French Toast. Excellent work on the liveries as usual. Let's jump in then. If you stuck around for long enough at the beginning, you would have seen I bought the van for 28180 losing out on 5,129 before it even started and then I spent another <clears throat> 57,232 modifying this beautiful little beast today paying our total spend at 85,412 which is quite a bit for a minivan but can we make a profit let's jump in let's find out and see what we've got going on all 100% completed little more than 78,000 kilometers on it now I did have to do a little bit of testing on there that engine now tuned up to 1557 horsepower a gain of 93 percent actually insane but can we make a profit from this one yes but not by a lot 97,484 is our sale price take away our 85,412 it does still leave us with a profit a profit of 12,072 profit is profit i don't care off you go dodge grand caravan you were a lot of fun actually a demon definitely enjoyed that one off you go now you will know that we have the discord competition up and running i will be doing my next car for the discord competition i do already have it in the garage it is this beautiful ford mustang this is the vm fastback very special edition created by myself ignore that i need some et on them rims and you can't put et in the car editor well not that i could see anyway but i'm no expert at it so they will be fixed in a much better shape this is going to be my first entry i will have two this is going to be this one here is going to be sort of like my dream car build that's what i'm going through on this one it won't be too powerful it's not going to be breaking any speed records or anything like that this one's just going to be my design as cool as i can possibly make it hopefully some cool livery on there I say hopefully there is a livery on there that I have picked to go with this one. I'm hoping it looks insane. I'm hoping you guys will enjoy it too. Come and join us on Discord for the competition. Enter your own car. Vote for your favorite. However you want to do it. It's just nice when people take part in things. It's quite a good community in the competition in there. So come and join us. After this one, I will be doing a second one. And the second one is even more special than the first. Although this one is my dream car. The second one is sort of an experiment. So we will see when we get there. Thank you so much for watching today's video. I do hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please consider hitting that subscribe button. We're aiming for 250 subscribers where I'm going to play around with some of my old cars, check out some old liveries, see if they can be improved in any way, shape or form. I do have quite a few of them down there, to be honest. One and a half full garages of uh yeah of cars that i've saved this one will be saved as well i was debating whether to actually do this one or not but i've decided i'm going to go for it so i'm hoping you're going to tune in next time and check this one out hope you'll have a wonderful weekend in the meantime i will see you back here on monday when we're going to do my custom build my dream car thank you so much for watching i'll see you in the next one goodbye